All right, here we go. Number one, remembering to do down strokes for the eighth note parts. 60. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Gallop and verse gallop rhythms. Sixty. One, two, three, four, one. to you as well grab that text file I'm gonna send this to you. that's right and I'm gonna grab a circle of fifths edge and bring this as we go Loading on the load. Heck. Get down. No. Man. There it goes. All right, anyway. Um. Okay. Get the. Play. Gotta look at that in a second here. All right, so this is what you finished yesterday. All right, so I mentioned circle of fifths and circle of fourths. So it's a tool to remember or figure out 
what keys have how many sharps or how many flats as just dealing with your major scale stuff technically your minor scale as well because those are relative to each other um anyway we'll talk about that later so when you're looking at the key of c that's your starting point because you're you have no sharps or flats just all natural so you get look at one two three four five notes up so the fifth note there g that's the root note of the key with one sharp starting with g one sharp is f sharp so when you go to the next key count up again one two three four whoop, four five d is the fifth note in the key of g so that is the root note for the key with two sharps so f sharp comes into the key of d and the new sharp is c sharp your new sharp is always the seventh note always so the new sharp for a is g sharp f sharp and c sharp come down into the new key as well every time you have a new sharp it's carried over into the next key so you see the key of a has c sharp f sharp and g sharp sharp f sharp and g sharp and the new sharp is d sharp that's the seventh note so that keeps happening every single time so if you go up four notes one two three four gives you f that is the key with one flat so the fourth note in these major keys will always be the new flat <clears throat> that's also the root note <clears throat> of the next key so b flat is the key that has two flats e flat is the key that has three flats so on so this guy i'm going to send you this too this just i like the way this is uh put together there's, there's a lot of circle of fifths graphs and whatnot you can look at um for the most part this is pretty simple so you see starting here is c you go to the right there g he has one sharp he has two sharps a has three sharps keeps going around increasing in sharps if you go the other direction so this is like going down in fives that before too so if you start here you go one two three four five down is the same thing as going up one two three four so going backwards in the circle so we go c to f key of f has one flat key has or uh, sorry key of b flat has two flats key of e flat has three flats so what's all this stuff in the middle here uh, so you got major keys in black on the outside minor keys in this kind of brownish red what would that be maroon so uh, anyway the minor keys are in the middle here so a minor is the same as c major key of g is the same as e minor key of d is the same as b minor and so on look at this wait not that find the relative minor of any key go back three notes from that root note back three notes from c is a or back a minor third a step and a half so you get your whole step plus a half step so go back a step and a half that gives you the relative minor root note so key of g the relative minor is e minor key of d relative minor is b minor key of a f sharp is the relative minor and then if you're in a minor key and you want to figure out well what is the relative major just go up a step and a half so d minor relative major is f g minor relative major is b flat c minor the relative major is <clears throat> down here is basically what we what you did yesterday played out in a nice neat order so key of g has f sharp key of d has f sharp and c sharp key of a has f sharp c sharp and g sharp just kind of start showing you 
the sharps in order as they occur. I think with the flats over here. So hopefully that makes sense. But if you have any questions with it, let me know. I will see you again next week.